Hi, this is Elizabeth Dawson with Successful Retirement Financial Tips. So one of the things that I wanted to talk about today is um, in retirement, we need to kind of do an analysis of something. We need to do a little bit of a report for ourselves. And it's really about the risk if one of you, if you're married, a spouse passes or a partner passes in your life, what is that economic decline going to look like? Uh, we've seen this because the average widow in the United States today is age 59. Uh, she could be living 30, 40, 50 years ahead, you know, in the future based on decisions that maybe she wasn't totally involved in, but um, she's got to live with that reduction of income. You might be seeing a 25% drop in income. You might see a 50% drop in income. The, the point is, is that, you know, is 25% or 50% a lot or a little? Well, I think it's kind of a lot because everything's going to get more and more expensive as time goes on. So think about this. One of your social securities is going to go, and maybe if one of you were a, a teacher in the um, education world or, or even with CalPERS or CalSTRS, you might not even get social security. So um, I know, for instance, I'm, I have a husband and wife that we've been working with, and, and she's a retired teacher, and he was a retired gentleman from a very prestigious career. He's going to have social security. She won't. She'll have her pension. But what will happen in their situation is that $30,000 plus per year of Social Security, if he predeceases her, that's going to drop. Is $30,000 a lot or a little? He also has some pensions. So with those pensions, can they, are they going to stay the same or are they going to drop by maybe 25% or 50%? The average retiree couple, we usually see one of the spouses when one passes away about a 54% drop. It's a lot of money. So if it's $100,000, could you live off $54,000 less? You have to ask yourselves those questions. The advisors out there that I know today, they're not asking these questions. We need to do what's called an income for life report so you can kind of see what you can expect. Because everything you know, smells like roses when we're both living. But at the same time, we have to take it into consideration to ask those difficult questions. If one of us dies before the other, what do our finances look like? Are we gonna be okay Will we have to sell the house? Will we have to do you know, different modifications just to be able to survive? Will we not be able to do maintenance on our homes? Will we be able to buy a new car? Um, what about we wanna you know, remodel the bathroom? Whatever it might be, think about this. Think about it now before it's too late uh, because you probably can do something about it. We create something called an asset protection calculation for people. And this is something where we need to see what that economic change is going to be in your life and what is the you know, void of an asset that we're missing to be able to cover that. Um, if you've never heard of that term before and you want to get your asset protection value calculated, feel, you know, feel free to reach out to us at 619-640-2622. We'd love to start working with you on that. Come up with that calculation just so you can kind of see what that looks like. And then also ask us for an income for life report. Need a little bit of information, but it's well worth the journey to be able to know what you can expect for the next 20, 30, 40, 50 years of your life when you're in your retirement and you want to stay retired. So stay tuned for more successful retirement financial tips to come. The information provided in this show is for informational and educational purposes only. This show is not investment advice, nor is it intended to address the financial needs of any particular viewer. The opinions expressed on this show are not intended to be an endorsement of any particular investment strategy or service of any other kind. You must make an independent decision regarding investments or strategies mentioned throughout the show. Before acting on information in this show, you should consider whether it is suitable for your particular situation and strongly consider seeking advice from a financial advisor.